The Tragic Tale of Franz Reichelt, The Ill-Fated Eiffel Tower Parachute Jump The year was 1912, and Franz Reichelt, a French inventor, had a bold and audacious plan to demonstrate the effectiveness of his homemade parachute. Fueled by confidence in his creation, he made a fateful decision to test it in front of a gathered crowd at one of the world's most iconic landmarks, the Eiffel Tower in Paris. However, despite the warnings and attempts to dissuade him, Reichelt's ill-fated jump from the tower's first platform ended in tragedy when his parachute failed to deploy, resulting in a fatal fall of 57 meters, 187 feet. This incident serves as a stark reminder of the risks associated with untested inventions and the dangers of overconfidence. Background Franz Reichelt, born in Austria in 1879, was an eccentric inventor living in Paris. He was particularly fascinated by aviation and aspired to create a device that could revolutionize parachute technology. Reichelt dedicated countless hours to perfecting his invention, which he believed would not only ensure the safety of aviators but also benefit the military. The ill-fated demonstration Reichelt's confidence in his creation reached such heights that he decided to perform a public demonstration of his parachute at the Eiffel Tower on February 4, 1912. The iconic structure, known for its height and symbolizing human engineering prowess, served as a fitting backdrop for his audacious stunt. Despite the concern and discouragement from friends, colleagues, and authorities, Reichelt remained resolute in his conviction that his invention would succeed. He obtained permission from the Parisian authorities to conduct the test and prepared himself for what he believed would be a successful and groundbreaking event. The tragic outcome. On the day of the demonstration, a large crowd gathered at the Eiffel Tower, filled with anticipation and curiosity. The atmosphere was charged with both excitement and apprehension. At the appointed time, Reichelt ascended to the first platform of the tower, wearing his homemade parachute, which was essentially a large, wing-like apparatus made of silk and metal rods. As the crowd watched in awe and disbelief, Reichelt hesitated momentarily, as if contemplating his decision. Then, without further ado, he leapt off the platform, intending to demonstrate the successful deployment of his parachute. Tragically, what followed was an appalling sequence of events. The parachute, instead of opening and slowing his descent, malfunctioned upon release. It failed to catch the air and remained tangled around Reichelt, rendering it completely useless. With no means of slowing down his fall, he hurtled toward the ground at a terrifying speed. The impact was catastrophic, and the inventor's life was tragically cut short as he struck the icy ground below. Aftermath and Legacy The death of Franz Reichelt sent shockwaves through the scientific and engineering communities, serving as a poignant reminder of the potential consequences of unchecked enthusiasm and the need for rigorous testing and safety precautions. The incident prompted widespread discussions on the responsibility of inventors and the importance of scientific validation before attempting dangerous demonstrations. Reichelt's ill-fated jump also left an indelible mark on the public's perception of the Eiffel Tower. The tragic event further cemented the iconic structure's status as a symbol of human achievement and bravery, but it also highlighted the importance of caution and respect for the forces of nature. In the years that followed, parachute technology saw significant advancements, spurred in part by the lessons learned from Reichelt's fatal experiment. The tragedy served as a catalyst for enhanced safety standards in the field, leading to the development of more reliable parachute designs and stringent testing protocols. Conclusion. The ill-fated parachute jump of Franz Reichelt at the Eiffel Tower in 1912 remains a tragic chapter in the history of invention and human ambition. It serves as a stark reminder of the perils of overconfidence and the imperative for thorough testing and validation in the realm of innovation. While Reichelt's dream of creating a life-saving parachute was cut short, his unfortunate sacrifice contributed to advancements in parachute technology and safety standards that continue to benefit aviators and thrill-seekers to this day.